மறக்காம சர்பிரைஸ் பண்ணுங்க थैंक यू Okay, welcome back guys. Uh in this uh example we're going to have another copycat variation with a similar idea for uh for white as uh I discussed previously after bishop f5 um white will go for the relatively early c4 and then after e6 play the media queen b3. Now what we saw before black had uh had had some structure like c6 and b6 and we saw how that was weakening. In this position uh black can try this move knight to c6. And the idea with this move is to meet queen take b7 with knight b4. And uh it's actually a, a somewhat complex line, probably not good for white to go into given the queen is uh precariously placed on b7 and knight c knight c2 is a major threat for black. So going back, white can uh white can play this move c5. And now the idea is that white wants to take on b7 and uh knight b4 would not be possible because the bishop is obstructed from uh from defending this b4 square. Um so in this position black uh black ended up blundering and playing b6 which is a uh, a very weakening move. It's logical from a positional standpoint to try and get rid of the c pawn so the bishop on f8 can come to life. but unfortunately it's very weakening to the knight on c6 and um as we've seen before when b6 is played c6 can be a major target in this position there is a a, a nice sequence from white starting with the most powerful move queen a4 um this is probably the most accurate way to continue because it pretty much forces queen d7 um and now once the queen is on d7 like can go for this uh the central break pawn e4 uh not caring too much about the the pawn as black can win it but caring a lot more about bishop b5 coming with uh the very menacing pin against the knight so black is in major trouble here if we imagine let's say pawn take e4 bishop b5 is just winning a boatload of material given the knight cannot be defended and once the knight is taken there will be double attacks and pins all over the place So um so going back to this position e4 is just winning a piece because white has uh has a threat against the bishop and the threat of bishop e5 um really not much black can do if knight take d4 uh white could just simplify like queen take d7 and let's say king take d7 knight take d4 white will just be up a piece So this one was pretty short and sweet uh going back to this moment I will say the best move for black is to play rook b8 and then uh, then white can continue in a more positional manner play e3 complete development uh possible ideas of bishop b5 and knight e5 loom in the, in the position and of course b6 uh it will take a while for black to play b6 given that uh with the king still in the center there it, it really can't be uh it can't be played as c6 would be just too weak so i hope you guys enjoyed that and um I'm glad that we're getting to see some uh some different lines which which hopefully could uh could occur in your own games. So I will uh, I'll see you guys in the next lesson. மறக்காம சர்பிரைஸ் பண்ணுங்க தேங்க்யூ